Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and welcome to another pre I a pre Infocom, I should say, edition of my rants and raves. The year is moving fast, Gavin. I'm here with Gavin Downey, who's the group product manager for high brightness projectors at Epson. Uh, Gavin, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, Gary. It's great to see you. Good to see you all as always. And, um, you know, uh, Epson's a great place to go because you always get to see the top of the line in projection and sort of like uh, everything that's going on with projection. And, and projection is one of those technologies that's always been in our industry and will always be in our industry. I mean, I, I just find it hard to believe that that classrooms, well, first of all, you can't do image mapping without projection, but also, you know, classrooms. And there's a lot of applications where projections always going to be used. So you're always going to have a client base. Um, you're going to be in booth 3427. But the most important, the most impressive thing that I think Epson does every year is you always show the sort of like the, the limitations of every technology by showing what projection can do. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Yeah, exactly. I think and I think you framed it really nicely, right? When we look at the when we look at the world in general, right, and people's expectations for what constitutes a large image or an image driven experience, right? Um, whether it can even be in their personal life when you go to like st uh, stadium seating in a movie. Yeah. Right. And you're up here and the screen's very close to you and it kind of wraps around. Right. right. Or your 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 faith, your life and faith. Right. You go to church for services, you know, often AVs being integrated at uh, significant scale or education, as you mentioned, or entertainment, right? So imagery is getting much larger. If you ask right. someone what's the largest image you've seen in the past six months, it's very different than five or six years ago, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, especially with IMAX theaters and absolutely. and then now you're projecting on the side of buildings and things like that. Exactly. So I think people's expectations and then when you look at the technologies and who can meet those expectations, right? I think you've got projection, laser projection will obviously play a role. Yeah. DVLED will play a role. And and I think the how those work together in different environments where they shine respectively I think that's what's gonna ultimately meet people's expectations so the booth is really designed to show it's possible with projection yeah and I think also when you when you look at a budget ultimately the cost per square inch uh, for projection is the lowest there is for any kind of imaging technology um, so you're gonna see you know you're, you're, you're gonna you're going to always save money if you can find a way to have control of ambient light, which is really the key thing with projection is putting it in an environment where you have control of ambient light. So all, all, at, in, at ISC, I should say, earlier this year when we were in Barcelona, you showed a new series of the L series of, um, of um, high brightness projectors and sort of the different ways that you can, you can leverage those. Will that be a piece of what you're going to show at, uh, at Infocom? Yeah, as you know, I, I think you, you've spoken to it, right? IC and Infocom are sort of very connected, right? Yeah. Um, and we launched uh, 13 new models uh, of fixed lens PowerLight L. And they're very small chassis. These chassis are under 20 pounds. Yeah. Yet now they go up to 8,000 lumens. Yeah. So 8,000 lumens in 20 pounds, right? Is it's, and it's, it's amazing. It's crazy, right? And these, they have NFC. Um, you can connect them to the cloud for free and, and control hundreds of them from anywhere in the world. Um, they have uh, an entirely, now they have optical zoom for the first time. Okay. Um, so not only are they getting smaller and much brighter, they're getting far more sophisticated and we're going to demonstrate that. So we're going all the way from 0.55 throw on a fixed lens, uh -huh. which is pretty rare. Um, you can put that at the end of a table and throw yeah. a huge image, or you can use it for simulation on the floor or the ground. Um, people use it for golf sim to simulate the greens, all the way back to 2.2, and pretty much everything in between at fixed lens. So really, really bright. So, so the projector small. doesn't come with a lens. You choose which lens you want to use, or does it come with a lens? It's kind of both. That's a great question. It comes with a lens. But okay. we, the models we have, we have a short throw, we have an intermediate throw, and right. they have optical zoom. A lot of them have optical zoom now. So okay. we've got this large throw range covered by fixed lens. And as you mentioned with ambient light, I mean, in a classroom setting, you know, if you're throwing 120 inches at 8,000 lumens, yeah, it's going to be bright. You can deal with a lot of ambient light. Yeah. 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 So it's it's uh, it's really kind of changing the game and what's possible with modestly priced yet increasingly sophisticated small chassis projectors. Yeah, and those are all laser, right? They are. They're all laser, sure. 
Yeah. Yeah. And one of the other things that Epson always does at uh, at shows is have sort of some sort of immersive exhibit. Now, now last year you did a couple of things. You did a image mapping of a of a performing arts center, kind of a, a thing that you actually did in real life, and you showed a model of that. Yeah, that was cool. uh, but then will you do that again? And what about something that's sort of interactive and immersive that you usually do? It's kind of all of the above. I mean, we're really maybe we just threw everything in the kitchen sink at this booth. But um, so we have everything from um, a two by two using all 4K. So roughly an 8K, a giant 8K display. So okay. that's really high resolution and massive. You can walk right using four it. projectors. Mm -hmm. four, 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 okay. four, four. Yeah. So that's kind of an interesting piece. And then we've got um, we'll have a, we have a partnership, a global partnership. Um, actually, it's only North America. Uh, it's a partnership with Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. And we'll have a performer in the booth, um, which oh, is kind of oh, neat wow. from a performance perspective. Not not the entire time, but certain times yeah. each day. And then we also have um, uh, an interactive piece where you the attendee can actually interact with a large art piece and control the audio and control what's happening with your body which is oh, like gesture control yeah it's really cool and and the audio behind it's really neat kind of transcendent and then we have a architectural projection where we're projecting on a model of a building in the same vein as what we did last year with the performing arts center yeah but it was for a centennial uh for a specific building in columbus indiana so um it's really cool. It's kind of micro and you can see there are like people in the building and everything. It's really, really neat. So you'll be in booth 3427. Mm -hmm. Of course, all this that we've already talked about is already at Epson.com because you're you're shipping all 13 of these models already, aren't you? We, we just started like last month. So yeah. Um, yeah. And demand has been really strong. So um, we're working hard to keep up with demand. And um, there's especially in higher of education, things. like higher education sort mm -hmm. of went through a couple of delays because of COVID and then funding. You're seeing a lot of higher education by projectors right now. Higher ed and faith and um, yeah. even, you know, some, some good K-12 stuff. And we've seen actually quite a few immersive because immersive, they recognize they need light control and then they, they find the throw range and capabilities, cloud, cloud connected capabilities and the image quality because it's all three chip, it's all three LCD. Yeah. And we also introduce shifting at fixed lens so we're putting up twice as many pixels yeah. as standard W UXGA. And when you look at seven or eight, everyone, for the most part, right, is W UXGA. So everyone's yeah. putting up 2 million pixels. Yeah. Most people are one chip sequential color. Yeah. And we've got twice as many pixels, a full three chip color in a fixed lens projector. And they're using them for immersive. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think where you'll see, I think this is a good show for people to see the difference between three LCD and one chip DLP, because you'll have two, two or three companies demonstrating both and yeah. Epson with three LCD and a few different companies with single chip, uh, especially when they have these immersive kind of exhibits. So go, go to look at Epson's and then go look at theirs. I think you'll see, you know, you have to decide which one you like better because some people like you know, one chip DLP, but I think most people prefer the three chip in those type of environments. I, you definitely see the difference in that case. And I think, I think that's, so. yeah, yeah. I think that's where you guys really shine, but yeah. 13 different models all in the same, uh, L series, uh, Powerlight L series, um, right. platform. Yeah. Um, you can see all that at Epson.com. We're going to go there and shoot videos on everything we shot, talked about here. And of course we'll do a booth tour like we usually do and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can follow along with all of our Infocom coverage at raypubs.com slash Infocom. Gavin, uh, thanks for joining me today. Appreciate you doing this as always for the show. Um, and I'll see you at Infocom. Thanks so much, Gary. We're really looking forward to seeing you and the entire team at Infocom. Thank you so much. Thank you.